to the viewers today we discuss an important topic poison brackets and now what is it let us consider a function g is a function of qpt of the canonical variables q y p i for i equals to 1 to up to n now dg dt that will be clear for the function of qpt sum of i equals to 1 to up to n del g del q y dqy dt plus del g del pi dpi dt plus del g del t for the time variable t now we introduce another terms vw for the two functions v is the function of qy pi and t and w is the function of qy pi and t and it's defined by uv bracket of uv as sum of i equals to 1 to up to n del v del q i into del v del p i minus del w del q i into del w del p i taking it equation number one and its equation number two from two we have if we change at first if we considering it it's a general type of functions and if we convert it in a hamiltonians functions then q dot that is dq dt will be replaced by del h del pi and dp dt that will be replaced by minus of del h del qy so we make a derivable functions in the form of hamiltonian we use and plus del g del t taking it equation number three now using two that's the approach of two we mix the three in the shape of dg dt equals to funk bracket of gh plus del g del t if g is constant in motion then dg dt equals to dt of constant so derivative of constant is zero from three we obtained bracket of gh plus del g del t equals to zero if g does not involve any time t explicitly then this quantity is zero so this will be zero and we also have bracket of qjh using the property as earlier del q j del q i del h del p j minus del q j del p i del h del q i and it's already clear and using another terms which is used in the earlier my video tensor and tensor calculus especially chronic or delta chronic or delta is defined by del i j equals to here it is del q i del q j or del x i del uh, del x j whatever maybe it is or in this notation that is delta of i j or delta of i j whatever may be we use but we here use this type of terms so it's clear that's it is delta g i and its term will be zero so we make here chronic by the definition of chronic or delta for j equals to i it will be one for j equals to i that is i equals to j we put it here and this quantity is one all other term will be zero so we are making in this type of shape and that's clear from the uh, equation of hamilton hamiltonian equation that will be q j dot Similarly, if we are finding another bracket PJH by the definition del PJ del PI del H del PI minus del PJ del QI del H and it is uh, for the equations here it is delta this uh, for delta g i
certainly it will be qi so delta pj del pi del h del qi minus del pj del qi and del h del pi and clear it is delta ji and it will remain same del qi and this quantity will be zero so in the earlier situations happens for uh, here it is j equals to i i equals to j so del h del pj and it's clear it will be a del h del q j that will be uh, for pj dot for j runs from 1 to up to n so here we already found uh, to use a Poisson bracket in terms of the Hamiltonian functions pj h within the bracket that will be pj dot for j and also here one should be noted that one should be noted j runs from 1 to n here also j runs from 1 to n and for the trivial cases that means qipj that also equals to delta ij so we are getting few ideas of the poisson bracket and exploit it we are using in the concept of hamiltonian functions to use the poisson bracket and several conditions we evaluate in terms of uh, hamiltonian function using poisson bracket so today we end our classes thank you